Hello and welcome to Thursday Trends for Thursday, March 21st. I'm Abby Wright. And I'm Viv Shield. Today's first story will be brought to you by Liliana and Bridget with a story on a feisty turkey resisting arrest. What does a turkey eat for dessert? A peach gobbler. In St. John's County, Florida, Deputy Carson was doing his regular rounds one day until he spotted a chicken? Actually, it was a turkey. When Carson was pulling a vehicle over, he noticed what he continuously mistook for a chicken. In order to get the turkey to leave, Carson repeatedly kicked at the turkey, but these efforts did not work as the turkey continued to fight back. Not only did he try to get physical, he would also try quacking at the turkey to see if that would get it to leave. I guess you could call that a wild turkey chase. Now on to uh, Brownie and uh, Ainsley looking for more info about Kate Middleton and the royal family. Gobble, gobble! <laughs> Thank you, Liliana and Bridget. Hey, Ainsley, do you know what happened to Kate Middleton? Well, fans have come up with different speculations lately. No one has seen her since she was at a Christmas Day service. She was admitted into the hospital for a planned abdominal surgery on January 16th of this year. On January 17th, it was announced to the public. On January 29th, she was sent home to recover. Rumors started rising saying that she was in a coma. People have also noticed that she was edited into a family photo. A palace source explained that she is alive and well. She was actually seen out shopping with Prince William. That's great to hear. That could have been a royal disaster. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sending it over to Olivia and Morgan wow. now. Hey, hey Chargers. Chargers! I'm Liv. And I'm Morgan. Today we'll be talking about spring break hotspots for 2024. Some of the top places are Las Vegas, San Diego, Cancun, Bahamas, and one of the most popular is Florida. As you can see, many people like to go to warm places for their break. So, are you going anywhere for spring break? Thank you for joining us on Spring Break Hotspots. Now let's send it to Nate and Logan with news about March Madness. Bye, Bye Chargers. Chargers! March Madness is here. March Madness is an important tournament to the college basketball fans. This event is when 68 teams play each other in a bracket-esque format. There are seven rounds, including the first three in the tournament. The first three rounds are called the first round, second round, and species team. There are four one seeds this year, being UConn, Houston, Purdue, and North Carolina. These teams are seen as the best in the tournament. Are you making a March Madness bracket this year? Let's pass it off to Dax and Griffin. Bye, Chargers. Hey, hey Chargers. Chargers. There's been a recent measles epidemic all around the world. Measles is a very contagious disease. Nine out of ten people who come into contact with it will be infected with the disease. Thousands of cases have been reported so far, most prominently in Kazakhstan, Azerbaijan, and Yemen. Due to COVID-19, 61 million measles vaccines were delayed or canceled from 2020 to 2022. Measles cases are up 79% in 2023 compared to 2022. Up next is Quinn and Bryce about a story about a supersonic plane. That's all, Chargers. Hello, Chargers. Today's story is about the new supersonic jet that can go from New York to London in three hours. The jet was designed to make a sound barrier. This jet could be a pioneer for the comeback of supersonic travel. Speaking of comeback, the supersonic travel was stopped after 2003 because the booms were too loud. The sonic booms will now only sound like a soft thump. The never knows, knows will help create the sound softer. What supersonic jack? I didn't see it. It was too fast. Ha ha ha. Now back, now back to our anchors. Thank you for watching this episode of Thursday Trends. Make sure to check out tomorrow's Friday 5 with announcements, sports, weather, and more. Have a great afternoon.